The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 15, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 21st of November, 1972, in Hyderabad, India. Yeah. In this material world, we are put into mitakta, subject to birth, death, old age, and disease. But there is another position where there is no birth, death, old age, and disease. So, which position we should like? Birth, death, old age, and disease, or no birth, no death? Uh, no illness, no disease. Which one we should like? Hmm? I think we should like no birth, no death, no illness, no disease. So that is called Amritattva. So Amritattva is Kalpate. Amrita, but as we are, in our own original constitutional position, we are not subjected to birth, death, old age, and disease. Just like Krishna, the Satchidananda Vigraha, eternal, blissful, knowledgeable. Similarly, we being part and parcel of Krishna, we are also of the same quality. They we have accepted this position of birth, death, old age, and disease on account of our association with this material world. Now, everyone is trying not to die. Everyone is trying not to become old. Everyone is trying not to meet death. This is natural because by nature, we are not subjected to these things. Therefore, our endeavor, our activity is struggling. How to become deathless, birthless, diseaseless? That is struggle for existence. So here in the Bhagavad Gita gives you nice formula. Jangshina bhakanti iti purusham purusham sabha. This transmigration of the soul, one which is not afflicted by this dhīrasrata one who understands, suppose my father dies, if I have got clear understanding that my father has not died, he has changed the body. He has accepted another part. That is the fact. Just like in our sleeping state, dreaming state, my body is lying on the bed, but in dream I create another body and go say thousand miles away in a different place. As you have got daily experience, Similarly, the gross body being stopped, I as spirit soul, I do not stop, I work. My mind carries me. My mind is active, my intelligence is active. The people do not know that there is another subtle body made of mind, intelligence and ego that carries me to another gross body. That is called transmigration of the soul. Therefore, one who knows that the spirit soul is eternal, deathless, birthless, ever new, mitta sasatayam purana. Mitta sasatayam purana. Purana means very old. We do not know how old we are because we are transmigrating from one body to another. We do not know when we have begun this. Therefore, actually we are very old. 
But at the same time, Nitya, Sāsatāṁ Purāṁ, although very old, just like Krishna, is Ādhi-purusa, the original person, still you will find Krishna always a young man of sixteen to twenty years age. You will never find Krishna's picture as old. Navajovan. Krishna is always Navajovan. Advaita Achyutaya Nadi Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusa Navajovan. Adyam, the original person and the oldest, at the same time, he is always in youthful life. Adyam Purana Purusam Navajovan. So, Anyone who knows that how the soul is transmigrating from one body to another, dhīrasthattva-namuhiyati, those who are sober, learned, he is not disturbed. The purpose of Krishna to teach all these things to Arjuna, because he was very much perplexed how he would leave killing all his kinsmen and brothers. So Krishna wanted to point out that your brothers, your grandfather, they will not die. They will simply transfer the body. Bhāsāṁsi jīnnāni ca thāvyāyā. As we change our dress, similarly change our body is also like that. There is nothing to be lamented. In another place Bhagavad-gītā, therefore it is said, Brahma who, one who has understood Brahma, Prasanna, he is always joyful. He is not disturbed by this material condition. That is, he has stated, Janghina Bhapanti, these different transformations, different changes of nature, body, and everything, one should not be disturbed by all these things. These are external. We are spirit soul. It is external body or external dress that is changed. See, if we understand nicely, Nābhatāṁ say, and you are not disturbed by these changes, then sāmṛta-tāya uh, talpate, then he is making progress, spiritual progress. That means, spiritual progress means he is making progress towards eternal life. Spiritual life means eternal, blissful life of knowledge. That is spiritual life. So here is the recovered nature. Try to become Krishna conscious. And then you will not be disturbed with all these external, ephemeral changes of the material world. Uh, not only of this body, a practically one who is advanced in spiritual life, he is not agitated by the so-called political upheavals or social disturbances. No. He knows these are simply external, just like in the dream. It is also a dream. The our present existence, it is also dream, exactly like, uh, like uh, we dream at night. In dreaming we create so many things. So this material world is also a gross dreaming, gross dreaming, that is subtle dreaming, and this is gross dreaming. That is the action of the mind-body-intelligence, dreaming. And here, the action of five material elements, earth, water, air, fire. But all of them, these eight, they are simply material. So we are thinking that I am now built a very nice house, skyscraper building. It is nothing but dream. Nothing but dream. Dream in this sense that as soon as I give up this body, all my skyscraper building, business factory finished. 
Exactly the same day. Day is for few minutes or few hours, and it is for few years, that's all. It is day. So one should not be disturbed by this dreaming condition. That is spiritual life. One should not be disturbed, just like we are not disturbed. Suppose in day I was put on the throne and I was working like a king and after the dream is over, I am not sorry. Similarly, in dream I was seeing the tiger has attacked me. I was actually crying. Here is tiger, here is tiger, save me. And the person who is lying uh, behind me or beside me, he says, oh, why you are crying? Where is the tiger? So when he is awakened, he sees there is no tiger. So everything is like that. But this dream, these uh, gross and subtle dreams are simply reflection. Just like what is dream, the whole day what I think, the dreaming is a reflection. Ah, reflection. My father was being cloth business. So sometimes he, in dreaming, he was quoting price. This is the price. So similarly, it is all dream. This material existence made of these five gross elements and three subtle elements, they are exactly like dream. Smara nittam anittatam, therefore Chanakya Pandit says, Smara nittam anittatam. This anitta, temporary, dreaming is always temporary. So we must know that whatever we possess, whatever we are saying, these are all dream, temporary. Therefore, if we become engrossed with the temporary things, so-called socialism, nationalism, uh, familyism, or thisism, thatism, and waste our time without cultivating Krishna consciousness, then that is called samayeva hi kevalam, simply wasting our time. Creating another body. Our own business is that we should know that I am not this dream, I am fact, spiritual fact. So I have got a different business. That is called uh, spiritual life. That is spiritual life. When you understand that I am Brahma, I am not this matter, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. That time we shall be joyful because we are afflicted with so many changes of the material features. And we are sorry and happy being afflicted by all these external activities. But when we understand rightly that I am not concerned with all these things, then we become joyful. I have no response. Uh, nothing, I have nothing to do with all these things. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. Na Suchati Na Kanta. At that time you can feel that every living entity is exactly like you. It doesn't matter whether he is a learned Brahmin, whether he is a dog, whether he is a Chandala, whether he is an elephant, Vidyadhanaya Sampanne, Dhammani, Gavihastani, Suniti, Sapati. Pandita samadarsh. That is the question. That is spiritual vision. Pandita samadarsh. Therefore, a devotee is first class pandit. Devotee. Because he is samadarshina. Samadarshina means he is feeling for others. A Vaishnava, paradukha dukhi, tripam mudhija. Vaishnava is very kind heart, merciful, because he feels for others. He feels for others in this sense, that he knows what he is. He sees every living entity as part and parcel of God. 
Then here is a part and parcel of God. He would have gone back to home, back to Godhead, and dance with him, and live very nicely, eternally, blissfully. Now he is dotting here as a hog. Or as a human being, or as a king, the same thing. It is for few years only. So a devotee therefore tries to take him out of this illusion. Therefore he is called paradukha dukhi. He is actually feeling Aras distress condition, not these political leaders of social, what they can do. They make their own fortune, that's all. Or what is that fortune? That is also misfortune. If somebody thinks I've got some money, I'm very fortunate. It is actually it is not fortune. Real fortunate is he who is advanced in Krishna consciousness. He is fortunate. Otherwise all are unfortunate. All are unfortunate. So in this way one should come to the spiritual understanding and the symptom is he is not disturbed by the material upheaval. Janghi Navathanti Ti Purusanga Purusarsav. Sama Dukha Sukha. The symptom is Sama Dukha because he knows this is dreaming. Suppose you are dreaming, so either you suffer in the presence of a tiger or you become a king in dream. What is the value? It is the same thing. There is no difference. It is all it is dreaming. Therefore, sama sukha dukha. If I become very happy because I become a king or some big man, that is also dream. And if I think that I am so poor, or I am suffering, I am diseased, that is also the same. Therefore, Krishna has in the previous verse has said, Tanga tithi kasa bharat. Just little practice to tolerate, do your own business, Krishna consciousness. Yuddha samamanusmara. The our real business is, as Krishna says, Marmana bhava madhvapta marja jimangana maskuru. All I think of me. So this practice should go on. Never mind, I am so called distress or happy. In the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, if you say, Daite Bhadra Bhadra Sakali Sama, E Bhala E Manda Sam Manada, Daite in this dwell, the world of duality, here in this material world, the, this thing is very good, this thing is very bad, it is simply mental conflict. Everything here is bad, nothing good. So this is our mental creation only. This is good, this is bad. We are doing that. That's why like in political field, this part is nice, this part is bad. But any party goes in the power, your condition is the same. The commodities price are increasing. There is no decreasing. Either you change this party or that part. So these are all concoctions. If you want really happy, happiness, if you want to real goodness, then you try to become Krishna conscious. That will make you real happy. Otherwise, if you are simply uh, disturbed by this material condition, nāsato viddhate bhāva, nābhāva viddhate sata, ubhayorapi vishta anta tanayo sattva-darsivī. Sattva-darsivī, those who are, who have seen the Absolute Truth, or those who have realized the Absolute Truth, they have concluded that the matter has no permanent existence and spirit, soul, has no any wish. These two things should be understood. Asata, asata means material. Nāsata vidyati bhāva. Asata, anything asat, anything in the material world, that is asat. Asat means will not exist, temporary. So you cannot expect 
permanent happiness in temporary world. That is the purpose. But they are trying to become happy. So many plan making commission, utopia. But actually, there is no happiness. So many commission. But as Tattvadarshi, they know Tattvadarshi, one has seen or has realized the absolute truth. He knows that in the material world there cannot be any happiness. This conclusion should be made. This is simply phantasmagoria, if you want to become happy in this material world. But people have become so foolish, especially at the present day, that simply making plan on this material world how they will become happy. We are practically seeing what is in our country, it is far, far behind material civilization. In America there are so many motor cars. Every third man or second man has got a car. We are poor men. We are sannyasi, brahmachari. Still in each temple we have got all four, five cars. In each temple. Very nice car. Such car even ministers in India cannot imagine. You see? Nice, nice car. So they have got so many cars. But the problem is that always they are engaged in making roads, flyways, one after another, one after another. It has come to this stage, four, five. Four, five storied roads. So how we can become happy? Therefore, Tattva-darsi is no You cannot become permanently happy in this material world. That is not possible. So don't waste your time to become happy here. In another place it is said, Padam Padam Jad Bipadam Natesham. The same example can be given. In America, so many millions of people die in motor accidents. How many? What is the statistic? You don't remember? Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand? No, no, more than that. So many people die of motor, motor accident. So some of our students, a few months ago, he died of motor accident. The motor accident dying in Navigita is not very astonishing uh, because the motors are I mean, running at the speed of 70 miles, 80 miles, 90 miles, and not only one motor car, one after another, hundreds. And if one is little slow, immediately ta da da <laughs> So you cannot become happy. Be biased and discuss American, American, European. They have tested all this motor car civilization. They have tested very nicely. Motor car, nightclub and drinking, they have tested very nicely. There is no happiness. Uh, Therefore they have come to Krishna consciousness. Therefore, nasato vidyati bhava, nabhava vidyati sata, abhava, and sata. So we are unhappy on account of our accepting asa, which will not exist. That is the description given by Prahlad Maharaj. Sada samudvigna dhyam asad graha. Sada samudvigna dhyam. We are always anxious. Full of anxiety. That's the fact. Everyone of us. Full of anxiety. Why? Asad graha. Because we have accepted this material world. Asad graha. Tatsad manne suravadya dehinam. Sada samudvigna dhyam. Dehinam. Dehina means, they are Dehi, we have already discussed. Dehi means the proprietor of the body. So everyone is Dehi, either animal or human being or tree or anyone. Every living entity has accepted a material body. Therefore they are called Dehi. So Dehina, every Dehi, because he has accepted this material body, 
He is always full of anxiety. So we cannot be anxiety-free unless we come to Krishna consciousness. That is not possible. We have to become Krishna conscious, Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma, immediately. We become anxiety free. If you don't come to the platform of Krishna consciousness, always be full of anxiety. Sada Samadhavana Dhyā, Asad Graha, Hityatma Patam, Dhyanda Kupam, Vananga Toja Dharima Saita. That is Pallad Maharaj giving us the exact. That if you want to get relief from this uh, status of anxiety, sadhāsamad vijinatyam, then hityātma ghātam griha andhaku vam, griha andhaku Griha means, there are so many meanings, especially it is meant home, home, homesick. Our basic civilization is that they drive away from home, go away from home. Uh, to, send, to take sanyā, to take a bāna-prastha, not to remain up to the last point of death as family member, grandfather gave that. That is not our Vedic civilization. As soon as one is little glora, panchāsodham balaṁ braje, he must get out from this griya on the kūpam. Griya on the kūpam, if we discuss, said where it may be very uh, unpalatable. But we have to discuss from sātva. What is griha? Griha, it is another word, it is called angana śrayam. Angana. Angana means for a man. To live under the protection of wife. Angana so, Sastra recommends that you give up this angonasama to go to the paramahamsa then your life will be saved. Otherwise, as Pallad Maharaj says, griyanda kupam, if you keep yourself always in this dark well of so-called family life, then you will never be happy. Atma bhātam, Atma Ghatam means you will never be able to understand spiritual life. Of course, not always, but generally. Generally, you are too much attached to family life or extended family life. Extended family life, then society life, then community life, then national life, then international life. They are all beyond the form. All beyond the so, the Pralad Maharaj advice is that you give up all this nonsense conception. Banangato Srimātmaveta. Just Banangata may just become free from the conception, beyond the kūpam conception of life, take the broader life of Krishna consciousness, then you will be happy. Hityātma dhātam beyond the kūpam Bhananga Pujar Harimātra. Harimātra, the real business is Harimātra. Bhananga Pujar. Bhananga Pujar means go to the forest. Formerly, after Grihastra life, Bhānapurtra life, Sannyas life, they used to live in the forest. But going to the forest is not the main purpose of life. Because in the forest there are many animals. That is mean they are advancing spiritual life. That is called Morkot Vairāga. Morkot Vairāga means monkey renunciation. Monkey is naked, Nara Baba. Naked and eats fruit, monkey, and leaves under the tree or on the tree. But he has got at least three dozen wives. So this Morkot Vairāga, this kind of renunciation has no value. Real renunciation. Real renunciation means you have to give up the Annakupa life and take shelter of Krishna, Hari Mahasraya. If you take shelter of Krishna, then you can give up this all this ism life. Otherwise it is not possible. You will be entrapped 
the first thing is to take shelter of the bona fide spiritual mind. Adu Buddha says, Sadharma Pritya, not that as it has been an assistant, I make a guru. Now my business is finished, I am not a guru. No. Sattva Vijnata, Jiva Sattva Vijnata. Guru means, to accept Guru means to inquire from him about the absolute truth. Jignasu Shreya Uttamam, we are the living in that. One who is Jignasu means inquisitive. Jignasu Shreya Uttamam. Shreya, Shreya means beneficial. So Uttamam, the prime benefit. One who is inquisitive to know about the prime benefit of life, for whom there is need of accepting a guru. Tatma Gurum Prabhupada, Jigya Guru, Sri Uttamam, Padrita Parita Nishnatam, Brahmani Kumusmata. So, this is our Krishna consciousness moment. We are trying to educate people to understand the value of life, the value of spiritual life, especially uh, Bhagavata, Dharma and Bhagavata and so so, by understanding spiritual life, by understanding one's actual constitutional position, he may be enlightened. What is the end of life? What is the duty of life? What is the purpose of life? That is Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much.